Now that we have a back sight, we're going to begin traversing. Instead of using the traverse side shot menu, which takes single shots, if I understand it correctly, we're going to enter the repetition shots menu. We're going to label the foresight. I'm going to label it traverse point one. And then I'm going to say the number of sets that I'm going to take are two. So that'll mean two direct and reverse shots. And now, once I'm done with that, I can click on the screen and take either individual shots or click on it to take them all. Now what it's going to do is say, shoot the back sight. I'm already sighted on the back sight, so I'll hit that, and my instrument will take that shot. Once it read that shot, now it says take the foresight or shoot the foresight. So Julia, if you can zoom out and see the total station, she's going to unlock this total station and aim it towards her foresight and get it good for angle, horizontally, and vertically. Tell me when you're good, Julie. Good. Now that you can see the data collector, it said, press the take shot button when you're ready, and it says it's shooting the foresight. So I'll click that button. Total station shoots that foresight. The data collector settings that we have is asking us to take a back sight, take a foresight, reverse the scope, and then take a foresight again, and then a back sight for one of the sets. And we're going to do two. Okay, now Julia is going to reverse the scope or plunge the scope and sight back on to that foresight so we can take the shot before going back. You'll notice on the data collector it said reverse the scope. Julia just did that and we're shooting on the foresight before we move back to the other point. I'll hit take shot and that total station will sight on to that point and take that shot. Now it's going to ask her to shoot the back sight in which case, she'll take the total station in the reverse and shoot over to her backside. Right. Now that Julia is sighting on the backside, we'll hit take shot again, and the total station will read that reading and give us the instructions to reverse the scope and begin doing our second set. So now that we have sighted on our backside, foresight, and then in the reverse, our foresight, and then go to our backside, We'll do the process over again for a total of two direct and reverse sets and we'll continue on to every point along this traverse and then show you how to close the data. We're going to show you one more time how to take this traverse shot. We're in the screen. My forward point is 20.5 or traverse point 5 and I'm going to hit all down here in order to take all of the shots and I'm going to say it's going to say shooting to the backside, and it's going to say take shot, so I'll go ahead and take that shot. Once that's done, it'll say shoot to the foresight, at which time I'll sight onto the foresight. Once I'm done sighting onto the foresight, I'll hit take shot. It'll shoot a distance and set an angle. Now it says to reverse the scope. And it wants me to sight onto that same point. Once I'm done sighting, I'll hit take shot. Now it says shoot to the back side.
I'm sighted on. You look at my screen. Shooting the backside. Take shot. I'll click that button. It'll shoot a distance and take an angle. Now that we're done with taking the direct and reverse shots, and we've ended up in the reverse position, your screen will look like this. It'll say, don't forget to reverse your scope. I'll hit OK, and it will give me this information. Basically, it will display the information that I just took with my repetition shot. In order to accept that information, I hit Traverse. Now, it basically accepted that repetition angle. I now told it I'm going to traverse my setup. And now it says, you can traverse now or later. I want to traverse now. So when I get to my new point, and I set up on my new point and back sight to this point, and it gives you that information up here, I can send my circle to the instrument and begin my forward point. Now that I'm on my forward point, turning point five, and I'm back sighting turning point four, and I already have it sighted, I'll go ahead and hit send circle. Now it gives me that information, the coordinates for where I'm set up and where I'm back sighting. I'll click over here to input, and my foresight, my forward point, is turning point six, which was originally point two oh four, but it's going to be recorded as turning point six. So from where I started to where I'm ending up, there are going to be different point numbers in the data collector. We'll show you how to close that later. What I'm going to do now in order to take my sights is I'll hit all, and now it's going to ask me to take my back sight point. Now it says, take your foresight point. So I'm going to sight onto my foresight. And I'll show you one more time how to use this data collector for taking a traverse shot. Now that I'm sighted on, I'll hit take shot. On my data collector it says reverse the scope because it wants to take a reverse shot here before we move on. That's fine with me. So I've reversed my scope, I've plunged my scope. Now I'm going to sight on. I'm going to hit take shot. Now it tells me to shoot the backside, so I'm going to turn my scope and side on to my original point. and hit take shot. We're done taking our shots once again. It says make sure to reverse your scope. We'll go ahead and accept that as a traverse point. Enter, and that accepted that. And I'll just hit traverse later. I get to see my results, and those points are saved in the data collector. And now I can close that information in the office.